everybody, this is Joshua again from Modival, giving you an example of how to prove that the limit of x approaches 8, cube root of x equals to 2, using epsilon and delta. Okay, so first, we want to write down the epsilon and delta definition. So it says, if 0 is less than absolute value of x, minus c, in this case c is 8, it's less than delta, then absolute value of f of x, in this case is cube root of square root of x, minus l, which is 2, which is less than epsilon. Okay. Now, as you've seen before, we need to use this last statement to find delta. So I'm gonna use my last statement. So what does this mean? So if absolute value Q root of x minus two is less than epsilon, well that means by theorem that this is minus epsilon less than Q root of x minus two less than epsilon. This means, remember this is the theorem of absolute value. Now we add two on both sides. So this is minus epsilon plus two, less than the cube root of x, less than epsilon plus two. Notice that I added two on each side of the inequality. Okay, from here, as you might imagine, we would need to get rid of the cube root of x by cubing on both, on all the sides. So I'm gonna cube. So now I'm gonna rewrite this as two minus epsilon cube less than x less than epsilon plus two cube. Okay? Now we're gonna use the initial fact, right? What does this mean? Well, zero, less than absolute value of x minus eight, it's less than delta. Now, don't um, remember that being greater than zero, it just means that x does not have to be the value of the inequality. So, meaning in this case, x doesn't have to be eight in order for this epsilon delta to work. Okay, and that's, that's crucial on these proofs because this is what makes limits important is that we're gonna approach a value that is so close to eight but it's not necessarily eight itself okay so I'm just gonna use this part of the um, absolute value so this part is less than delta again just like like here I'm gonna break it into minus delta less than x minus 8, less than delta, okay, and then I'm going to add, this is a delta by the way, I'm going to add 8 on each side, so this is minus delta plus 8, less than x, less than delta plus 8, okay, so now look at the correlation between this side and this side. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, okay, in order to satisfy this, I'm going to make this greater or equal than this, and this side greater or equal than this side. So I'm going to make 2 minus epsilon 3 less than or equal than, instead of writing minus delta plus 8, I'm going to just write 8 minus delta. And I'm going to make this side, so epsilon plus 2 cubed less than or equal to, or actually greater or equal, because I want it inside the bound. So greater or equal than delta plus 8. Okay? Now, notice that this is minus delta, so I'm going to move the delta to the left. I'm going to move this term to the right. I'm going to have delta 
less than or equal to 8 minus 2 minus epsilon cubed and then I'm just going to subtract here so I'm going to have epsilon plus 2 cubed minus 8 greater or equal than delta okay so now we've trapped delta between this term and this term therefore I'm going to choose delta to be the minimum of those two so 8 minus 2 minus epsilon cubed and epsilon plus 2 cubed minus 8 okay and there we have it we found a delta that will satisfy the condition therefore if delta equals the minimum of these two values then we can guarantee the conclusion which is that this is satisfied okay and that will be our solution if you like the video don't forget to subscribe um, to Motivao for more math videos. Thank you.